We're heading back behind the scenes with our Chief Compliance Officer, Margaret Richardson, to see how this CBD powerhouse creates high quality products in an unregulated industry. So Margaret, what's the importance of quality control, especially in the CBD industry? Well, quality control really ensures that we know everything about the ingredients going into the product, but also more importantly, that we can guarantee when the customer purchases that product, that it meets our quality requirements, it's the potency on the label, and that is gonna be safe for them to use. So let's look at CBD oil. The QC process begins well before the finished product here at Global Widget. Let's take a look. So Joe just talked about we're gonna follow uh, an oil, day in the life of an oil. And where we start is always with our raw materials. Our raw materials have to be approved and released from quarantine. And that starts with first taking a sample. And then we bring the sample to the QC lab. They compare to our raw material specifications. And once it meets our raw material specifications, it's released from quarantine and you know it's released by our green sticker. So we've got the verified raw ingredients and we're ready to make our CBD oils. How do they ensure that the mixture is the same every time? Great question. As part of our quality control process, our R&D formulation scientists create a batch record that is specific for every single product. On that batch record, we include the specific ingredients, how much of each ingredient to include, and then how to mix, weigh, heat, and what the final outcome is supposed to be. And so our formulation technicians put those together on a day-to-day -day basis, follow a batch record every single time. And for every single product that we've ever made, we have a batch record that's available. So how do we make sure that this batch of oil makes it into the right bottles? Good question. So we have our QC team that's always identifiable on our floor and they will compare the bottles, the labels that are being adhered to make sure that that batch matches the product that's going in the bottle. We then take that um, finished product and we'll take it to the QC lab to check in process to make sure that the potency matches the label. A whole lab devoted to QC. What happens in here? Well, we're very excited. This is kind of our premier video of our QC lab. And really, we follow the bottle along of oils or any of our products. And the goal is to make sure that we can be certain that the potency is what's on the label. So we've invested heavily in the necessary HPLC and other laboratory equipment so that Sandy Doman, our QC manager, can make sure that every product meets its potency and label requirements. So Sandy, it seems like a lot of steps happen in this lab. Can you give us a rundown of the process? Um, so basically after someone brings the product into the laboratory that's signed in and then we start the weighing of the product and then we do add any necessary solvents needed to do the testing and perform homogenization and then insert it into the HPLC for accuracy testing the potency of the product. We have to be coming to an end of this process. What happens next? Well, you would wish so. We've gotten through quality control. Sandy has let us know that the product met its potency standards. So the next step is to hand off to quality assurance and Flora Bell, who's our quality assurance manager. She will then make sure that all the steps have been completed and nothing has been skipped. So we have QC and now we go to QA. That's right, two how different is, departments. How is that different? Well, quality control is really like the in-process checks. They do things like check to make sure that the weights are correct, check to make sure the potency is correct. Quality assurance really is the double checker. So they go through and verify that all those steps have been completed and that the product meets our finished good specifications before we give it the okay to go out to the consumer. And that's what Florabelle is gonna tell us that's about. That's what she's gonna tell us about. So Margaret mentioned it a little bit, but Florabelle, talk to us a little bit more about the QA process. Uh, in QA, we have quality assurance technicians that spend time on the floor making sure that the processes were followed and the procedures. And we do have a batch record in which we have the compounding section and the packaging section. And we make sure that each one of the steps during the process were completed accordingly. Fascinating, so many steps for this one little bottle. Is QA the final step? We're almost there. Our last step is to make sure that every single batch has one retained put into our stability chambers. That means for every batch, every day, 
We take one bottle or one bottle of capsules or one bottle of gummies and we put it in the stability chamber. It'll stay there for two years. So it starts with a green sticker and ends with a green sticker, a long but meticulous process to ensure the quality, safety, effectiveness, and potency of all our products.